Alright, hello everyone. So, um, I got a new set of batteries uh, for one of my APC uh, SUA1500RM2U UPS systems. Uh, I think their manufacture date is around 2004, at least one of them. Uh, they're, I mean, they're nice battery backup units. They have, uh, you know, the network management cards inside of them, and I got them for free, and it was only $132 for the batteries. Uh, I rebuilt the pack myself. Uh, but the problem is with the new batteries, the battery lights start with showing a full charge, but basically flashing. Um, but actually, the UPS reports that um, they're basically dead. Let's get in here. Let's see if it'll bring it up. Ah, uh, yeah. So it, ba it basically always says they're discharged, and whenever you cycle for power or anything, battery capacity 28%. When you try to run a self-test, it drops back down to zero. When you pull a plug, it drops back down to zero. Um, and it's pretty annoying. Uh, and I did find uh, there's supposedly a programming mode where you hold shift and press Y a couple times. Oop, hang on. We'll restart that. Uh, you should get SM back. It seems a little finicky as to whether or not it'll work or not. It's not working now for some reason, uh, but basically it's some sort of programming mode, but I can't enter that for some reason. You press shift and Y. I'll put a link to the description, uh, and you're supposed to get a programming mode where you hit one and, the, and then wait two seconds, hit one again, um, and that doesn't work. And so APC also apparently, uh, I'll link to this as well, uh, has in the past sent out calibration keys, which you plug into the serial port and it basically programs it for you uh, to fix this sort of error, but supposedly there's this Cal key or this APC fix program uh, which works so I'm going to give this a try uh, basically from what I can tell I think it, it has to do with the battery constant where it you know it came with the original set of batteries that worked for a while and then you know they gave out over time uh, and also through storage and so basically this battery constant needs to be reset possibly uh, I'm not 100% sure so I'm just going to go through this myself Nope, because it is just COM1 on this, right? Oh yeah, because that's showing in use. I'm not sure why it's refusing to work unless I need to log into the UPS first. Hang on, let's try that shift Y thing again. There we are, SM. So you're supposed to press 1, wait 1 second, wait 2 seconds, press 1 again, but that doesn't work. Okay. And so now, what if I do this? No. Hmm. Alright, we'll give it a second. Hang on. I'll uh, try and find some. Uh, okay, so I just gave it another try and it says that it's established. Oh, there we are. Okay. So let's see. Battery charge. That, see, that's through that thing again. Um. Okay, that's a little weird. Um, okay. Status. And so yeah, the runtime, all the runtime calibrations uh, are basically impossible to use, and it keeps kicking it out for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's 
Not seeing battery constant anywhere. Cause there's, yeah, generation three battery constant. Um, and these smart constants are just grayed out. Huh. I, mean, I can do a self test, but. Test. It's not showing the firmware for some reason. Uh. Hmm. I mean, this does give some nice little tools, I guess, to see things. Um. Runtime and battery. It's not showing any runtime. Let's do a self test and see if it'll do anything. Well, I can hear it beeping all the way out over there. Okay, uh, well, that's a bust, but this might come in handy for someone with some of the links that I'm going to post. Um, and I'll probably add a little bit on to this after I phone APC, uh, but that's going to be in quite a while because... Oh yeah, this is, well, zero watts, but 72%, yeah, because I have around 700 watts or so on this. 740 watts. Um, so it seems like it just doesn't quite work with this UPS. Uh, but it might work for someone else. Hopefully. Um, this is really annoying. But I do sort of know at least that's a second gen one. Because um, they kind of use the same same serial number or model number. Um, okay. Well, that's a bit annoying. But I guess I'll just wait around for like four hours <laughs> until APC his support is back up. And then I may need to get a calibration key sent out, and I'll, I'll take a little video of that later. But there's also the links with pictures of at least the old ones. They might be the same now. Uh. Um, okay, so I was I just was messing around a little bit uh, with this again. And I thought, well, maybe they meant shift in Y, but that actually gave me back something. Um, and so I tried things like P, and, you know, there's... A few other sort of things um, and so I'm basically going to uh, just go based off of this um, although it says prog so basically zero is supposed to be the UPS state and so 50 I have no clue what that means but supposedly present holding the minus key no <laughs> no 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 okay so I need to enter the programming mode somehow and it, I'm not sure if it's maybe just the timing of the one key because it says two seconds but I'm I'm doing it two seconds there isn't two cursor flashes but hang on one one thousand two two thousand nope I'm wondering if this is slightly different for this one. Uh, what was it? I'm not sure, because these are completely brand new batteries. Uh, it, this is just annoying. Hmm. Let's just try some other... P gives that for some reason. Oh, maybe that's... Low voltage cutout. High voltage cutout was set to something like 127 or something. Just going through different keys, seeing what they do. Ah, shit.
P0I U Oh yeah, that's so O no what was it? P is the low voltage cutout, U is the high voltage cutout, Y is something else. T is NA, so I'll be able to okay, I can still keep going. R is just that. E is that W Q A Oh, okay. S D F twenty two, that might be the percentage. Uh, G twenty-four H J K L uh trying to think. No, those don't do anything. Z X C V B N and M. That's a manufacture date right there, I recognize that. Um Ooh, jeez. Oh that got that like messed up the um What the hell is this? I know that that's device manager. Maybe that changed the um 23% charge. That, that changed the um, baud rate or something. Oh shit, it's totally fucked it too now. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so we just want to go after everything. Oh, wait, no. It was one that did that. We were just doing that. No. Nope. Okay. Let's go over here. I'll have to try like a um a physical reset of the thing. Uh, or possibly through the web interface, actually. Uh. Hang on. Um. Creation. There's the UPS defaults. If that took, um, possibly, although I didn't change the date for some reason, uh, which is probably, hang on, let's go into the card system, uh, preferences, uh, use such defaults. Except two CPs. Because that should be the network management card, and then under there is the UPS itself. Okay. And so now, let's just give it a try. Aha! Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> so that's basically what you do if you screw up the console. And I'll actually, so you, if in case yours looks like this and you can only access it through serial to get the web interface up, um, you get the login, and then two is network, one is TCP IP, and then one lets you change the system IP, two lets you change the subnet mask, three lets you change the default gateway. Uh, so that's how you can get to that page to then fix what you screw up. Um, but yeah, so I'll have to wait for a phone call to APC. Um, and then hopefully uh, they can help me or something, I don't know. Just see that that's still working. Okay, yeah, so, so far, I can't put anything in now.
Okay, it's just a little weird. Um, okay, yeah, so uh, I'll add some more onto this video when I know more and then upload. Alright, uh, so it's a few hours later now, um, and I phoned APC. Um, they have they have very nice tech support, which is nice. Um, I talked to the guy, uh, basically they had the same information when it came to accessing the programming mode, and they said that resetting the battery constant isn't recommended. Um, but they do still have these calibration keys available. Um, uh, they look like this, or at least they used to. Um, and so they just need to grab the serial number for me, and it should be here in three to five business days, and I think it's, uh, yeah, so it's gonna be, uh, Wednesday or so, um, which is a bit disappointing, but I mean, hey, uh, they'll send me this, and hopefully this works, and so this is the user's guide for it, um, let's just see. Ah, uh, yeah, so it recalibrates the battery constants after replacing um, a key, or the batteries, I mean. Um, returns runtime, estimates to reflect the new factory fresh battery, which is also kind of what I need. Uh, it can be re reused multiple times. Uh, there was something, hang on, where was it? There's something here that mentioned, here we are. Uh, this guy here, Jeff, uh, for some reason there is something thinking on that was a single-use device, but it can be used multiple times, uh, which is nice. Uh, let's just see what the instructions are. <clears throat> and so yeah, they did need the serial number just to get the, because uh, I have an SUA 1500 RM2U. Um, and so let's see. I'm mostly just scrolling this over so you can see it. I'll also link into it and download this just for saving the information. Uh, looks like I'll have to, uh, shut everything down for that as well. Alright, um, so, it looks fairly straightforward, um, yeah, so I will post an update when I have this, um, ready to go, I might do a video of the actual calibration process, although there's not a great amount of light there. Um, but yeah, we'll see if this calibration key works. Um, if not, uh, he mentioned that it's just a fault with the UPS where it can't run the runtime calibration with new batteries, but hopefully this should fix it. Alright, so thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or things, uh, just leave a comment or whatever, and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> no one's gonna do that. Alright, bye.